S Ok, Assalamualaikum and good day So, welcome back in this lesson series We are going to learn STM32 UART or USART interfacing So, this, this UART interfacing series can be divided into 4 videos The first video, we will cover the overview of UART The basic concept of UART Terminology that we'll use in UART coding so the second video, we will cover coding development of the UART driver. So we will learn about the register involved in the UART programming. And then the third video, we will develop a coding to reading or receiving the data. And then the last video, the fourth video, we will learn two-way UART coding. That is to transmit and uh, receiving data. So the computer can transfer data in two ways, the parallel or in a serial technique. So in parallel, data transfer can be eight or more lines or wires are used to transfer data to another device. So in serial communications, the data is sent one a bit at a time. So in the past, the parallel data transfer was preferred for short distance because it may transfer more bits at a short amount of time. So as the technology advances, the data rate of serial communication sometimes exceeds the parallel communication, while the parallel communication still remains the disadvantage of the size and cost of cable and connector. So the crosstalk between the data line and the difficulty of synchronizing of the arrival time of the data time at a longer distance also still existed in the parallel communication. Okay, there are two main protocols in serial communication. So that is the asynchronous and synchronous communication. So the difference is the clock. In asynchronous, in asynchronous communication, we don't need a clock signal between transmitter and receiver. But in synchronous, there is need and share the clock signals between transmitter and receiver in order to synchronize the data transfers. In this video, we only focus on the asynchronous transmission. So the UART is a short form for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter UART. The A in the UART stands for asynchronous, means it has no clock. In UART, data flows from TX pin of the transmitter to the RX pin of the receiver and vice versa. And to achieve the common reference, both devices are connected through common ground. UART communication is a peer-to-peer, -peer, so we can't have a multiple device on the same UART bus. So this can be a bit of disadvantage if we want to have a multiple device in our design. So if there is no clock or any other timing signals, then how the receiver know when to read the data? Or in other words, how you are synchronize the communications between transmitter and receiver. So you are achieve data synchronization between transmitter and receiver by two simple mechanisms. The first both the device must agree on timing parameters before it, which can be achieved by configuring bulk rate. And second, you are use two special bits, one at the beginnings and other at the end of the data time. In UART terminology, the special bits are called start and stop bit. Synchronous serial data communication like UART is widely used for character orientation transmission. In the asynchronous method, each character such as ASCII character is part between start and stop bit. This is called framing. The start bit is always one bit, but the stop bit can be one or two bits. The start bit is always zero and the stop bit is indicating by one. For example, over here we send ASCII character A, which has the binary code 0100, 
zero 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 one. As you can see, the data is framed between the start and stop bit, start bit and stop bit. The stop bit is indicated by one, and the start bit is always zero. The stop bit can be two in numbers, and but the stop bit is always 1. The LSB bit is sent first. Bulk rate. Bulk rate is a rate of data transfer in serial communication and it is expressed in bit per second. There are few standard band for bulk rate which start at 1200 all the way up to 115,000 bits per second. Some advantage and disadvantage of UART communications. UART communication is simple to use and to configure. But the disadvantage of UART is the limitation of size and speed. Also, UART communication does not support a multiple master-slave system. Okay, that's all for the first video series for STM32 UART Interfacing Series. See you in the next series. Thank you.